Hey guys, it's me, Mexican Gamer 4299. Back to you again. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to download or excuse me no, how to use your PS4 controller to play Minecraft. So what you're gonna okay, so let's get started. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your web browser. Open your web browser. Um, I'll have the links in the description. You have to download these two things. Uh, no viruses. I already know. I've done them before. And this is derived from another video, so I'm just clarifying on what the guy put. Sorry, I got a text, but just driving on what he put. Um, he forgot to mention something else, so. Um, I was gonna mention that. Okay, so the first link is this one. in there that's way yeah yeah does this all the time okay sorry if you hear um you know music or whatever in the background but okay so this will pop up you're going to download this onto whatever I already have mine right here you're gonna download that and also, so we're gonna exit out of this, this down, and we're gonna open it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna extract it, and you're gonna put it into another folder. It doesn't matter where. But once you have, once you've done that, pull this out. Go first to virtual bus driver, SCP driver. Okay, so you go here. And this window should pop up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your PS4 controller into this. Here, let me get, let me get it. Uh, I have mine. Mine was half connected. Okay. And you should hear that, and your controller should turn into a nice orange color. What you're gonna do is you're gonna install, and if it doesn't work. You're gonna force install. You're gonna know it works. Okay, right now. We'll show you right now. So, exit out of that. Go back to whatever you called it, minus PS4 drivers. Go to SCP server. You shall hear that. And your controller will turn green. You'll know it's on if this does does say controller one. If it doesn't, then force install it. You're gonna click on that. And yeah, you're all good. So exit out of that. And now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this one, this link right here. It's gonna take you to a website. Let me show you. Take you to a website where you can download. Okay, so open your web browser once more. It's gonna be like the last time you open it. Take this out, and you won't have to type it in or anything. But, but I am for you guys especially. Put that there. gonna push enter and this should pop up another one of these well that uh, skip add oh another deal and you're gonna go here Josh carriers black block whatever I don't really care but you're gonna go down once you go down you're gonna go down to here update dot Josh carrier dot mind control you're gonna click on that and you download it it's safe doesn't have any viruses I've tested it out it's good and remember you need Java for this app so I'm gonna push cancel because I already have it I exit out of this I don't need it save yeah 
Now what the hell? Okay. Don't save. Taking time. Okay, so you're gonna open this up. Gonna open that. My bad, I actually screwed up. You're gonna go back, you're gonna go into the folder. Where it's at, it's gonna look like this. You can download it. It's gonna say JNLP file. What you're gonna do is right click it. Open with and put keep using Java TM web start that and this should pop up. And when it pops up, it's gonna say, like, Oh, uh, are you sure you want to run this program? Click yes, run the program, it's safe, it won't do anything. After that, I put it onto my desktop, and then now I just click on it, whatever, and it and this comes up my control. But here's the thing that I found on the video that the person left out. So go in here. This. This application right here. This one. And this one. Need to be on at the same time. If they're not on, you're not going to be able to play. So I'm going to click this. Minimize it. And this. And it's going to work. I assure you. I've done it many, many, many times. If it doesn't, just leave some just leave a comment. I'll try to figure it out. But and this this is what it should say. Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. Minimize that. Open up Minecraft. And it should work. I'm moving my right analog stick for this. The only thing I had a problem with playing Minecraft on my PS4 controller was that. Um, every time I push L2, it would glitch on me, and then it wouldn't stop uh, placing blocks. So it's kind of the same as um, PS3. Nothing different to it. It's it's like the PS3 edition. Same thing, but you can change the settings in here. If you want to change them, just go in here, put configure. And yeah, just mess with this however you want it. That's good. But uh, yeah, so right analog stick, R2 to click. Yeah, guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope that helped a lot. And you no. Know, and we'll see you guys next time.